<laughs> How's everybody doing? Okay. Uh, I hope you like uh, Venus, I mean Mars in Aries. And that's not all. I just give you crumbs. I give you crumbs. It's too much work. I can't do it in 25 minutes or even an hour. I try to do an hour, but my contract did not allow me to do it for an hour. I haven't reached 30 subscribers yet. You all got to help me and spread the word on that. Okay? <laughs> so, <coughs> we're going <coughs> to... When we do the super chat, we're going to have a lot of room there to go into really the little, get into the meats and bones, the nuts and bolts. But unfortunately, uh, can I do that in a scope of 25 minutes, right? Okay. For me to do that, I have to be on paid salary to do that. That's not going to happen until I reach 30,000 subscribers, where then I'm home free. Then I don't have to ask for donations. You guys pay monthly as a paid subscription and I give you all the things you need and we're home free. Okay? So, uh, understand that um, I didn't give you everything and there's so much I wanted to say about Martin Aries for both men and women. You know, what I gave you, like I said, was a mustard seed. So, we're going to jump into Venus in Aries. And I'm going to discuss the female first. And then I'm going to discuss the male. Okay? So we're going to jump right in and get started. You have to understand that when the woman... Oh. They always make me do the tobacco backwards. I hate that. Even though I know it's a... Uh, this is a cult meaning to smoke the cigar backwards and forwards. Understand that with Venus in Aries, it is a different psychological modality than it is when Venus is in Aries expressing a man's chart. So I'm going to discuss a woman first. I love to play music, especially fast and fiery music. You know, I'm all, I'm all Aries, you know. I'm all Aries. I can't help it. When, when a woman is born with Venus in Aries, you are direct, upfront, and about what you want. You love nature. And... And the love that you have for nature is very well developed. But here's the thing. You become infatuated, enamored, glamorized, even bewitched with Venus and Aries. For both in a woman's and in a man's chart. <laughs> you know, here's the thing. That, oh my God, oh my God, the woman or the man with Venus in Aries, she's excited, she's enamored. The woman with, Mar with Venus in Aries has an insatiable love for the man, for the male body, and everything that's masculine. A woman with Venus in Aries will have a lot of men friends. And she will prefer men as her friends than women. And that might present a problem in her romantic life. Because her man is going to have to get used to her having many, 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 many men friends. She's confident, secure within her own self, and the man that's going to be with this type of woman, he better have a strong sense of self, or he cannot handle, will not be able to handle this type of woman born with Venus 
and Aries. Now let's jump right in and go into some specifics of what that may mean, what that entails. With Venus in Aries, it's a glorious beginning. Glorious beginning. But it doesn't last long. That's the problem. The woman with Venus in Aries will fall in love quickly, but fall out of love just as quickly. She's fair weather. Anything can tip the scale and make her fall out of love with you. And off to the next nigga. Okay? So understand that when you're born with Venus in Aries, you are rather very me-centered. It's all about you. The other person, even if he's your husband or your boyfriend, becomes secondary in your assessments and valuations. It's all about you. It's all about what you want, what you need, and what you want. And who can provide it for you. Because that's the other thing. Remember, Venus rules Taurus and Libra. Material wealth, prosperity, the glam life, beauty. Think of um the, the housewives of Beverly Hills or the New York housewives or the other franchises from Bravo TV. That's Venus, the best of the best. Limos, private jets, great food, wine, champagne. Three, four hundred dollars Cuban cigars, looking beautiful and being amongst the beautiful ones. This is Venus in Aries. So, if you were blessed to have Venus in this position, understand that you're going to live a roller coaster of a romantic life, episodic. Changing is like living a soap opera. Is is the whole purpose and reason for living? That is what we see on the outside. That's what we see in the outside looking in. Okay. The Venus in Aries woman, and to a certain degree, the man, can be a very selfish position for Venus. Venus is at her most optimum level of self-absorption. Understand that Venus rules Libra. The opposite of Aries. So Venus in Libra is in its dignity, what astrologers call its dignity. The opposite, which is Aries, is its detriment. So Venus is in its detriment in Aries. Mars is exalted, and it's in its dignity in Aries because Mars rules Aries. Venus rules Libra. But it's in its detriment in Aries. Here we have the polarity of Aries and Libra. Both Venus and Mars opposing each other. And I'm getting a phone call now. So let's answer that call. Okay. Uh, and my phone doesn't really work. You know, but that's Saturn. See, I'm trying to open it up and it won't open. It won't open. It is a brand new phone. See, won't open. This is Saturn. Saturn afflicting the third house of communication, language, uh, phones, cellular phones. This is my problem right here. See, look at that. It won't open. The devil. And I got Saturn in Aries. So he's uh, he's going like this to me. Pow! And I like and I like take the hit. 
and I lose a couple of teeth, they fly out. But then I'm like, let's go, Saturn. And we fight, because I'm cardinal to my heart. And that's how you have, you have to fight Saturn. Eventually, Saturn will win and take your life. But boy, what a fight. And this is the life path of Venus in Aries. It will never run smoothly like Mars in Aries. It will always be tough, hard, painful, with plenty of obstacles, oppositions, and adversity. Understand what this means. With Venus in Aries, you are here to assert and express your innermost desires. And they can be basal and egocentric. And it doesn't lend room for much evolution. And this is absolutely true if you are young. If you are young, this becomes an issue. But understand that we all have to go through this process in order to evolve and become better human beings to ourselves and to others. The beauty, sophistication, and refineness of Venus becomes corrupted in Aries. Venus is at its detriment in Aries. Doesn't work well. It takes education, knowledge, experience, and maturity for someone born with Venus in Aries to evolve to be a better partner towards their fellow human being. Understand that uh, Aries represents enterprise and business. And, and Venus represents money and monetary transactions. It's very important for the people born with Venus in Aries to have control of their finances and to also direct their finances and to also help heal. Many people with Venus in Aries are financial healers. Now, we talk about healers of all categories, but we never talk about financial healers. And Venus in Aries lends towards someone that has the gifts and capability to be a financial hero. So understand that when you have Venus in, in, uh, in Aries, there's so much that's going on, but understand that the basic reference point with someone born with Venus in Aries is that the person is coming from an egocentric, selfish, ego-driven nature. And the woman born with Venus in Aries doesn't have a psychological awareness or understanding that she may be this selfish bitch who everybody accuses her of, and she doesn't see her herself. This can be quite a quandary, you know. When we're dealing with Venus in Aries in a man's chart, he becomes like Venus in Pisces, the hopeless romantic, hungry abandoned. I love you! Can't live without you! Ah! You know, Venus in Aries can be love lost. There was a movie uh, in the 1980s called Endless Love with uh, Brooke Shields when she was young. She was 16 or 18 when she did that movie. And I forgot the man who played the boy. It was a, a, a movie that dealt with innocence, sexual maturity, sexual discovery. You gotta watch that movie. It's called Endless Love. It came out in 1980 with Brooke Shields, young Brooke Shields. She was 16, 17, I think, I believe, when that movie came out. It was about self-discovery. Sexuality, sensuality. I mean, everything that encompasses the human condition was expressed and explored and directed and, and told beautifully in this movie, Endless Love. Diana Ross wrote the the theme song for that film. You need to watch that film. 
That film describes the raw passion and the raw innocence of Venus and Mars in Aries. Venus in Aries uh, is also the five senses, which because Venus rules Taurus, an earth sign, and rules Libra, a cardinal sign, and a fixed earth sign. So Venus is very associated with the sensuality and earthly beauty of her Taurus sign. But then you have the Libra side of Venus, which requires intellectual repartee, intellectual exchange, and communication, first and foremost, concerning interpersonal concerns within a couple or within a relationship. Okay? And that's important to point out. Because, you know, um, let's face it. Um, Venus in Aries can make you so affectionate but so self-absorbed. There's, um, there's no way that you might even have an appreciation of your partner. What he needs, what he wants. Okay? When a woman is born with Venus in Aries, she's direct and upfront concerning what she wants. Okay? We know that she's very me centered and narcissistic. But this may be a misinterpretation or a misnomer. Because the reality is that the woman with Venus in Aries is very loving and very caring and, and, and very sacrificial. The Venus in um, Aries man will be also caring and living and loving, but this is something that he's not going to express openly. So he needs to evolve into a space where he can be comfortable being himself, discussing what he wants to talk about. So what we have to then determine as astrologers is how is this man to move or able to move from one point of transition to another without being traumatized. This is the plight of the man and the woman born with the moon in Aries. Mm. Let's put a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's go for the salt. So understand, here's another thing about Venus in Aries. You have quick infatuation. The infatuation that you might feel towards another human being may be quick and all-encompassing. And then there is the chase. You know, there are women that love to be chased by men. But you are different with Libra uh, uh, with uh, the moon, with Venus uh, in Aries. It's different. You are designed to slow down and toe the line. And this in itself might be difficult to explain, let alone perform, if you're not that type of person. But here's the thing. When we have someone like you come to us, we already know that you are a member of the club. The only one who doesn't know it is the person that's coming into the office. And we can do all kinds of things to hear you and bring you to that level, or we can impede it and stop it altogether if we feel that you cannot handle it. Now, I have to say that this was a wonderful, wonderful um, explanation of 
the signs pertaining to Saturn and pertaining to other elements in the chart because it helps give a holistic uh, perspective or interpretation of what the scientists are trying to mimic us to believe and to do. So, I want to thank you very much for um, listening to this moon series uh, concerning uh, compatibility and incompatibility. But I sense that there's a lot of layer of energy. There's a lot of uh, a negative energy in there. And negative energy comes with Venus in Aries. Because the problem is that people become very contentious. The Venus in Aries woman and men are, are very confident, very self-confident. So you're going to attract people that are going to try to pow, badger you. So then how do you protect yourself from that? There's actually... There is a way to protect yourself because you've been reading and you've gotten this far. There is a way to heal you, to heal inner trauma that you are bringing with you. So understand that uh, all these types of uh, horrors are not real horror stories, but most likely, uh, hold on one second. I'm getting another call here. They know that I, this is something that I'm taping. So let's see. And I cannot open it, so I have to let it go. I have to let it ride. So now understand that, having said that, uh, the person, as a person with Venus in Aries, you tend to prefer being the one to pursue a love interest. You don't really don't like it when a, uh, when a man pursues you. You are the one that wants to do the pursuing. Your love nature is Mars ruled, which gives energy and a level of competitiveness, competitiveness. And we have to talk separately about that competitiveness because it can be so destructive and so misguided that people will associate the sign with that disbalance, and it's not simply true. It's not simply true. So, you have to ask yourself, what are you going to do next? It's very sad to see that in someone has to be to that. So, now, having said that, having taken a pause, let's proceed. Let's proceed with the second half. Okay. Um, one of the things with... Uh, Again, like I mentioned, there's a profound love of, of nature, which is Mars ruled. Uh, this gives you energy, and it gives you a level of competition. You want facts. Your wants, in fact, can eclipse rationality. And, and if there's a bit of naive quality to your in interactions with others, then that will also come across, too. Okay? Okay. Uh, People, women and men born with Venus in Aries can be gullible and innocent and easily taken advantage of, especially if you are a woman and if the moon configures strongly in your chart. So then how do you transcend this type of energy? There is no way. There's no way. And let me tell you, having said that, uh, we are done with this combination because um, there's so much to cover that I just gave you a little mustard seed. And 
we are going to go into the super chat when I do it tonight. And we're going to go into the individual charts of everybody. But I gave you a generic. And we're done with part two.